Before we start editing in our Pro Tools session, we're going to take a look at how we can maximize our workflow from the outset so that we're not fumbling for really basic commands in Pro Tools. Okay, the first thing we'll take a look at is the um, time scale and the rulers. The rulers are located towards the top of the edit window. Okay, and they have markers on them, so one, two, three, four, or minutes and seconds. And the time scale of the ruler is shown at the left. So bars and beats, minutes and seconds, and samples. Right now we're in grid mode. Grid mode shows these thin blue vertical lines and when we do edit actions, those edit actions will be snapped to a grid. And it's really important that we know that the main timeline determines the resolution of the grid. So if we choose this downward triangle here and choose minutes and seconds, watch the grid, the thin blue lines. It then changes to reflect um, the preferred um, time scale. So here, minutes and seconds. And you see here that now minutes and seconds in the ruler is highlighted. So I can change the time scale by clicking the ruler or by choosing the downward triangle in the transport at the top of the edit window or the transport proper. We'll stick with bars and beats. That's really good for musical material. Uh, that is tempo dependent and minutes and seconds is really good for things like um, uh, post-production Foley or um, you know dialogue replacement okay the next thing we'll take a look at is how to zoom in and out in your project you can do this um, sort of the slow way by choosing the zoom tool and just clicking and dragging okay and then holding option to zoom out I don't like to do it that way I like to do it a little bit quicker by making sure the keyboard focus um, icon is pressed. That's this little A to Z. And what keyboard focus does in each of the windows is it allows you to use single letter key commands to um, do multiple shortcuts that would require multiple key commands. So for instance, I can zoom in by pressing the T key. I can zoom out by pressing the R key. Okay, so this is a horizontal uh, zoom in, zoom out, or a time scale zoom in, zoom out. For a vertical zoom in and zoom out, you can approach the bottom of a track and look for the icon to change to up and down arrow and then click and drag. Or you can choose right next to uh, the display selector this triangle and you get these different options micro, mini, small, etc. Okay, so the last few things we'll take a look at is actually playing your project. You can play your project by just clicking the play button on transport. But the fastest way to do that and the way that we'll prefer is to use the space bar. You can shuttle your project back to the beginning by either choosing return to zero or by hitting return on the keyboard.